then there's Kevin Durant, then there's Blake Griffin, and it's Bembry in at the power forward. And for the Celtics, Smart and Brown, a great defensive backcourt. Jason Tatum out there with Al Horford, and it's Williams in at the five. Another season underway for the NBA. Grant, was there an opening night that sticks out in your mind? Well, for me, rookie year opening night is always special. Came out the gates 25, 10, and 5. Of course, 2004 was special, too, after not playing the entire previous year. Harden against Smart. Inside. And stolen by Williams. Outside, Brown. Pass to Williams. Shoots a fadeaway. That one rolls around and rims out. Boy, a miss like that will drive any score crazy, especially with the defender giving a cushion. And Harden with the slam. And so often you see Harden flip the ball up there off the bounce, so it's cool to see him elevate and hammer it through. Now smart. Outside, Brown. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Patrick Mills. That's his first foul. And the call will be against James Harden. That's his first foul. And so it's Boston with it. They're having a hard time with fouls. It's still early, but one more and they'll be over the limit. Horford outside. Pass to Tatum. Here's the three. The shot that time not on target. And Brooklyn going the other way now. And this is their first time matched up with the Celtics this year. The team they beat in round one of the playoffs last season. Now, those guys will be looking for some serious payback. We can get lost in the impact Kevin Durant makes as a scorer, but this guy is so willing to share the basketball. Boston with the ball. Following the bucket by the Nets. Ooh, stolen by Harden. And just around a minute and a half into this first quarter. Pass to Bembry. It's good. Off the assist from Harden. Yeah, the focus of the defense. I mean, James Harden was able to use that attention and turn it into a hoop for someone else. Horford, a screen on Durant. Knocked loose. Smart against Harden. And here's Mills. Durant inside. Outside Mills. Griffin, a screen on Brown. Back to Griffin from outside the arc. Perfect night so far, two for two. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Boston on offense. Searching for their first points of the game. Smart passes to Brown. To halt the run. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first run. Well, you have to admire how smart is running this offense right now. He has a knack for spotting open teammates. And here in the first, approaching three minutes play. And Jalen Brown gets a whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. Celtics on D. Seven-point differential. And Marcus Smart picks up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. First quarter of basketball. Just over two and a half minutes played so far. Terrific anticipation by him, and that's why he's out on the court. And he gets it to go. Jalen Brown thrives when it comes to scoring through contact. This is a guy who is constantly looking to initiate that body contact with the defense. For Brooklyn, they've gone 4-4 four four from the floor. Perfect start. Out to the right wing. Outside Mills. Back to Harden. 
ran against Tatum. Embry. Horford pulls it in. Okay, that's how you stop a dunk. The defender brings the interference in a big way. And the jam by Brown. Yeah, what a great decision by Jason Tatum. That passing ability is important to complement his scoring ability. Smart against Harden. To the wing on the left. Outside Durant. And the call will be against Jason Tatum. That's his first foul of the game. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. And here in the first quarter, a little over three and a half minutes play. Griffin, a screen on Horford. Six on the shot clock. Uh, the pressure that Marcus Smart can put on an offensive player of his ability to contest shots is elite. Williams finds Smart. Left side Tatum takes the three. Counted from distance. And this game is tied up now. Got to fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping... the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens and Marcus Smart picks up the foul that's foul number two for him well a bit reckless right there that's his second foul and he can't afford to pick up a third Schroeder he's checked in for Boston outside Harden pass to Durant from deep and again, it's the Nets missing. We all know he's a good shooter. But from that distance, uh, I don't think so. Boy, we're seeing it more and more. Guys looking to create additional space by stepping back further from the line. Now here's Brown. He's got six. Shot clock at five. Tatum passes to Brown. That falls. Nice feed that time from Tatum. Brown's got nine. Perfect from the field this quarter. Gotta wonder how long he can sustain it. Quick break, and we look at our 2K leaderboard for three-point shooting last season. Brooklyn, second. That kind of efficiency from range is generally an indicator of a dominant offense. Brooklyn has gone one for three from outside so far in this game. Durant against Tatum. Six to shoot. Griffin, a screen on Horford. The kick out to Griffin. Shot to win the cold streak. Rebounded by the Celtics. Right side Tatum to the middle. Let's go with a three. 
Offensive rebound, Celtics. Goes back up, and it's Williams with the bucket inside. <laughs> They're really working the paint now. Brooklyn trailing. Pass to Durant. Fires the three. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. Yeah, Kevin Durant's ability to catch and release before the defense can react. So critical. So sweet. Screen by Horford. Outside, Brown. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Patrick Mills. That'll be a second foul of the game. Aldridge has checked in for Griffin. Pass to Horford. Now here's Williams. He's covered by Aldridge. Throws it up high. Just five on the clock. Schroeder against Aldridge. And Horford gets it to go. Well, the incredible shooting touch of Al Horford. He added that range game during his time in Atlanta. Pass to Aldridge. Out left to the wing. There's a screen by Aldridge. To the paint. And then Aldridge with the dunk. With the explosive leaping ability, he's able to play center despite being undersized. Boston on offense. They're on a 17-5 run. Schroeder passes to Williams. It's Brown on the wing. Screen by Horford. Second chance effort. And he'll take a trip to the line for two. Clearly got fouled on that shot. And Brooklyn called for the foul. How exciting is Jalen Brown as a basketball player? This guy is a skilled forward who loves showing off that ability to dunk the basketball. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls. Boy, it is really hard not to root for Jalen Brown. This guy is so incredibly smart. He's a champion for social justice. Not a stretch to imagine him as the head of the players union someday, guys. And honestly, even beyond that, this guy has got tremendous leadership. Canners checked in for Boston. Williams comes in for Horford. And both free throws good for Brown. And of course, Brown has talked about his love for the strategy in chess. That's what negotiating a CBA is like. That's right. Takes a cool head, takes some patience. Every move has to be completely thought through, and you do not want to make a mistake because it can unravel your position. And both teams already firing on all cylinders. Yeah, this is already a high-scoring game, but we knew that was a possibility coming into this one. Now here's Schroeder looking for his first basket still in this one. Canner with a screen on Durant. Clock at six. Pass to Kenner. Here's Brown. And Durant with the block. Maybe the most underrated aspect of Kevin Durant's abilities as a basketball player, the defensive end. Some changes for Boston. Neesmith, he's checked in for Tatum. And Pritchard is subbed in for Brown. Outside Durant. Picked by Carter. Outside Durant. Carter on the wing. Covered by Schroeder. Count it. One for one to start the game. That's what you call playing big. He just stays committed to the attack mode. Well, major height disadvantage. He recognizes that and still able to score it. Schroeder passes to Canner. Here's Pritchard. Pass to Neesmith. Five to shoot. And the 17-footer goes down. Oh, very clever how he creates space against a bigger defender. I'll tell you, the analytics crew may not like the mid-range, but sometimes you just got to put it in the basket. From the elbow, again the net score. 
great to see players still working the in-between areas. There wasn't much resistance defensively. Carter against Schroeder. To the inside. Cantor. It's good. And this is why Cantor is a fantastic pick-and-roll option. He's big as a screener and a superb roller. Brooklyn has gone 2 of 5 from beyond the arc in the first quarter. Carter, the pass to Durant. Over Cantor. The shot, no good. And it's Boston the other way. Williams, a screen on Durant. Pass to Pritchard. Now here's Schroeder. Off target from outside. He had more than enough room to hit that. Just couldn't make it happen. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Durant. The Celtics with the lead. Here's Pritchard. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Drives to the hoop. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Yeah, and you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Boston. Well, guys, they are dialed in from long range already. They didn't waste any time getting into a groove Shoot out there. Two. I think the other thing they've had going for them is their passing. Plenty of their baskets have come off assists. That free throw, no good. And the second free throw is good. And here's Durant. He's got five. Pass to Aldridge. Out to the right wing. Now here's Carter. He's guarded closely. Shot clock at six. Here's Durant. Opening close, and he drops it in. Durant's got his third bucket of the night. Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. Schroeder against Carter. That one falls. And the Celtics lead by four. This guy not just a jump shooter now. Dennis Schroeder more than happy to get inside and mix it up. Right side ramp. Pass to Thomas. Outside Johnson. For three, Durant. And the Nets, another three. All right, defensively now, you've got to find a way to slow this guy down because he's putting it to you. 52 seconds left in the first quarter. Back to Pritchard. There's the triple. Count it. One for one to start the game. Always a bonus when points come from unlikely sources. And you can see this guy's been working on that shot. Picked by Carter. Durant drives in. Ooh, coming through again. Shooting five for seven now. Can't blame the deficit on him. He's been scoring at will this period. 24 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Carter against Schroeder. Canner with a screen on Carter. Shot on the wing. It's not going to go for him. It's been all about Jalen Brown for the Celtics. 11 points in the quarter. He's on fire. More 2K action in just a moment. And one of the game's most imposing offensive rebounders. And his canner says his play can have an emotional impact. 
kill us an extra position, it's demoralize the uh, opponents. And I think it gives my teammates so much confidence. Tell them, hey, shoot it with confidence. And if you miss him, I'm going to go get it for you. Grant, you can really sense that passion Canner brings to the game. You really can, B.A. I mean, he puts his heart into everything he does on and off the court. And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter. We'll see what happens here in the second. All right, guys, what do you think about the Celtics here in this one? Well, they've really been racking up three-pointers in bunches. They've been so impressive to watch. And that's what has them ahead in this game. Their floor spacing has been just tremendous. After two and the three, Brown and Tatum. Then there's Al Horford. Then there's Marcus Smart. And it's Williams in at the four. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. Horford finds Williams. And here's Brown. And there's a whistle. That'll go on Paul Millsap. That's his first foul of the game. Well, Grant, does it seem like teams are carrying fewer specialists than they used to? You know, B.A., I actually think there's more specialists. I mean, think about it. You have certain players who can do everything, who are versatile, who can carry a team. But then you surround them and complement them with guys who can knock down open jump shots. So I actually think you have more specialists, a lot of them being shooters, who can space the floor for their ball club. And, and what's surprising, during the second quarter, he hasn't really looked like himself. Outside Johnson. Pass to Thomas. And the call will be against James Harden. That'll get him his fourth foul of the game. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. So the Nets making a switch here. Bembry's checked in. Now here's Smart. He's guarded by Mills. Tatum against Millsap. And there's a whistle. That'll go on Paul Millsap. That'll be a second foul of the game. Quarter number two and about a minute in. Millsap against Tatum. Down to five on the shot clock. Let's the three fly. Boy, a forgettable night for him, but thankfully his teammates have played well overall. Now here's Mills. The D's right on him. Pass to Thomas. Here's Johnson. Over Williams. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. Boy, a little indecisive. I think he wanted to kick it out, changed his mind, and ended up missing. Smart passes to Tatum. Williams with the screen. Tatum drives in. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Boy, we have seen Jason Tatum improve each and every year. Not just his productivity, guys. He's so skilled. But it's the leadership. It's the maturity for his age that's really striking. Williams has checked in for Williams. What's up? And Doris, Tatum's acumen as a playmaker now is leadership by example. Well, championships are won with unselfish play. His teammates have developed their games as well. This guy now trusts them and wants to make sure everybody's involved. And a slam dunk by Millsap. Oh, what ferocity on the throwdown. I just love when he goes up with purpose. Where was the D right there? The effort lacking big time. Yeah, and give him credit for taking advantage in a close game. Those are the types of plays that can swing things in your direction. Here's Williams. After the basket by Brooklyn. Back to Smart. Oh, 
Williams with the screen. And Williams punches it home. Oh, oh, oh my. What a display of effort. That's his bread and butter, right? Chasing down the boards. What about the decisive finish? Great timing, tremendous force. Brooklyn with the ball. The Celtics making their last shot. Millsap, a screen on Brown. With his first shot attempt. And there's another one for the Nets. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. Now here's Horford. Pass to Tatum. And finished off by Tatum. Well, this is an example of the court awareness we talk about with Al Horford. This guy's a very willing passer. For Brooklyn, they've got two of three shots to go in the second. Oh, they get a hand on it. And as it goes out of bounds, Brooklyn able to keep possession. All right, let's take a quick pause and look at the best shooting team from last season. Number one, the Nets. Tremendous efficiency on offense. They were willing to put in their work to get great looks. Celtics on D. And Marcus Smart picks up the foul. That's his third foul of the game. Third foul of the half, and that's the risk you take leaving him out there. Out to the wing. Millsap, a screen on Horford. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. Throw drops for Johnson. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Smart passes to Horford. It's Smart on the wing. He's guarded by Mills. Right side Tatum. Clock at six. Pass to Horford. And here's Brown for three. Rebound Brooklyn. Johnson's got four rebounds now. Here's Bembry, hounded by Tatum. Here's Thomas. The three. Oh, he drains the three, and he'll go to the line for one more. Jalen Brown picks one up. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Nets? Hey, guys, they're passing the ball very efficiently here in the first half. Well, you know, another thing they've been having success with has been the three-point shot. Austin trailing. Pass to Brown. Over to the wing. Screen by Horford. Tatum with it. Millsap picks him up. And the call will be against Jason Tatum. That's foul number two for him. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. And they're dialed in offensively. Sure are. Staying in attack mode and at the same time playing under control. Pass to Bembry. Johnson a screen on Tatum. Six to shoot. Here's Bembry. Horford with some nice D. Never easy to stop this guy at the rim, but that is a beautiful contest right there. Smart finds Horford. Now here's Tatum to stop the run. They grab their own miss. Williams' shot is good. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. Outside Mills. Here's Thomas, defended by Brown. 
Outside Mills. Offline with a three. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Tatum against Millsap. Outside Tatum. Smart outside. Tipped away. Now here's Mills. 17 points in his last outing. Pass to Thomas. Now Millsap. Williams defending. Millsap, a screen on Tatum. Pulls it from 20. And that one comes up a bit short. The Celtics shooting only 36% during the second. Smart outside. Back to Tatum. There's the three. And Robert Williams picks up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. This shooting stroke of Jason Tatum is elite, so it matters not if he's creating his own off the dribble, or in this case, just rising and firing off the catch. And the Celtics making a change here. Schroeder's checked in. And there's the call on Dennis Schroeder. That's his first foul of the game. Brown against Durant. And there's the screen. Back to Mills. 4-3. That's good. And so Durant with the assist. Mills has gotten himself going here. His first point of the game on the deep ball. Pass to Williams. And it's Kevin Durant with the foul. That's his first foul of the game. We're in the bonus now. And they'll go to the line. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. You know, I think one of the important things for Dennis Schroeder is to keep trying to become more and more efficient. Let his offense come naturally and improve as a distributor. Canners checked in for Boston. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And they've capitalized well from the free throw line. Their percentage is impressive. Outside Mills. Durant way outside. Oh, no good. Had a chance to take the lead. The Celtics have gone just 5 of 12 here in the second quarter. Smart passes to Horford. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. But to me, guys, you've got to know who you are. And Ennis Cantor has a great sense of what he does well. Excellent low post game. Superb rebounder. Understands how to use his body. I love this guy. Neesmith, he's checked in for Boston. Pritchard comes in for Smart. And both free throws good from Canner. Zero wasted trips. They're doing their job at the line. Now here's Mills, covered by Schroeder. Mills with it. Carter from outside. Cut X from downtown. Carter's got seven points in the game. Well, he showed right there. This guy capable of making shots, especially if you leave him that wide open. Here's Pritchard. He's checked by Carter. Here's the floater. Pritchard, no good. Brooklyn has gotten six of 11 threes to go in this game. Outside Mills. Back to Durant. 
and the Nets another three. Oh, that's just such a pretty and smooth release. Durant with the distance delivery. Canner sets a screen. Down low. Banked it in off the glass. Canner's got his second bucket of the night. When you use it right, the pump fakes as effective a move as there is. Pass to Durant. Carter with it. Kicks it out to Aldridge. Johnson passes to Carter. There's the screen by Johnson. Four on the clock. Over Canner. And there's another one for the Nets. The effort has to be better defensively. Easy deuce. Here's Pritchard. He's checked by Carter. Canner with a screen on Carter. Here's Pritchard. Oh, it's blocked by Aldridge. A quick leaper with good instincts. Aldridge can be so disruptive as a defender. Carter, good. He drops yet another dime, just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Now here's Schroeder. His last outing, he had 18 points. Pass to Pritchard for three. And the Celtics, another three. Boy, I love seeing Cantor distribute the basketball. If you're open, this guy will find you. Outside Durant. Back to Mills. And that comes off the assist by Durant. Durant's got his fourth assist in this one. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Pritchard. Oh, it's blocked by Aldridge. And he recovers it. Here's Neesmith. Rebounded by the Nets. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. On the wing, Durant. 27 points his last game. Outside Johnson. Pass to Aldridge. Basket counts. And now it's a six-point Nets lead. Such a nice touch on the ball from Aldridge. He knows exactly how much power to put on the inside shot. Williams is checked in for Canner. Griffin, he's checked in for Brooklyn. Thomas comes in for Carter. to Pritchard. The baseline, Jay. Nice jump shot. Pritchard's got five points in the quarter. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Now here's Durant. 
Pass to Thomas. Six on the shot clock. Screen by Griffin. The Nets need to get off a shot here. And the three off target. Austin trailing. To the middle. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Horford's got five. Nice work from the veteran big man Al Horford getting things done inside. Pass to Thomas. Back to Mills. There's the double team with Horford. Aldridge with room to shoot. Cans it with nobody near him. He has six. And an excellent job distributing the ball tonight. You can really see his feel for the game. And that's been his role pretty much from the opening tip. Get the ball to guys where they can score it. Here's Williams. After the basket by Brooklyn. Now Schroeder. Horford outside. Late clock. The Celtics got to hurry here. Let's it go. Kevin Durant pulls it in. Good as the jump shot falls. And now it's a six-point Nets lead. Well, you can see that the team relies on Kevin Durant to be consistently productive, and he is delivering. And so it's Brooklyn leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. They've been lights out from deep, and it's a big reason why they have a lead in this one. Back to the game after this break. Greetings, everybody. We love exciting. And this game is delivered as we've seen two top players battling mano a mano. You've both experienced being the top two players on your respective teams. That's generous. Oh, you're saying that Kobe and Big Shot Rob are better than you, right? No, I was talking about you, Kitty. <laughs> And now we turn our attention back to the first half. What a performance by Kevin Durant. When he's hot, it's like a fire that spreads quick. Oh, he's so hot, it's a fire right here on the desk. He's determined. He's, he's relentless. Hey, give me a fire extinguisher. And before you know it, you're torched. And that'll do it for us. Thanks for stopping by. We'll head back down to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the third quarter. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. You know, Kevin Durant has really been making it happen here, guys. He's hit shot after shot from deep. He's so locked in right now. Well, the break certainly didn't have a cooling effect on him at all. He's in a great rhythm, looking comfortable and confident. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. On the floor for the Nets. Patrick Mills out there with James Harden. Then it's DeAndre Bembry. Then there's Kevin Durant. And it's Griffin in its center. Nice touch on the shot from close range. Well, if there's any player in the league who relishes contact, it's Marcus Smart. You want to play physical? Oh, yeah. I like that. Harden from outside. Hits the trifecta. Harden's got five points. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. Horford, a screen on Harden. Outside Tatum. And it's Kevin Durant with the foul. That's foul number two for him. And Boston has possession. Back to Horford. Shot clock at six. Smart outside. From deep three-point range. Rebound Brooklyn. Up top Harden. Defended by Brown. Harden misses. He is just so deadly from out there. You expect that to fall. Tatum passes to Smart. Horford, a screen on Durant. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. 
Well, you like the level of aggression right there from Jason Tatum. Committed to scoring on the interior and draws the contact. Two shots. Relax on the first. That free throw misses. What I love about Jason Tatum, guys, he's already an all-star. But that desire, that hunger, that thirst to be great remains with this guy, and he continues to improve. Good on the second one. The Nets with the lead. Outside Mills, and so the ball out of bounds. Smart tucks it last. All right, let's take a second to view the 2K leaderboard and look at last season's top scoring squads. Brooklyn, second. And last year, I liked watching this team operate on the offensive end. The ball movement, the patience, the confidence. You love seeing all that come together. Now here's Durant. He's got 17. Back to Harden. The three. Got a piece of it. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. That's tipped. And they get it back. Pass to Mills. And so it's Brooklyn with it. Here's Harden. Defended by Smart. Harden. The pass to Griffin. Tatum with a steal. To the wing, right side. Horford finds Tatum. And here's Brown. Now smart. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. I just love how Marcus Smart plays the game of basketball. He's aggressive, he's intelligent, and he doesn't mind getting under your skin. Now here's Harden. He's got five. It's Griffin, high post. Outside Harden. Now here's Mills, defended by Smart. Five on the clock. And Robert Williams picks up the foul. That'll be a second foul of the game. With the shot clock about to expire, the last thing you want to do is foul. That's giving them a gift. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Griffin, a screen on Tatum. The kick out to Griffin. And again, it's the Nets missing. For Boston, they've got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Here's Brown. The shot no good. Harden with the defensive effort. And the emergence of Jalen Brown's ability to take over at the offensive end, Grant, it's been a joy to watch. Oh, such a joy. I mean, his improvement as a ball handler may be the biggest reason. He can drive the ball either direction now, create the space he needs for his jumper, and he's no longer a turnover waiting to happen. Brown passes to Smart. Good! And Brown gets the assist. Smart has got eight. Growing confidence in his jumper. Smart is rising and firing after the catch of the pass. Nice. Harden against Williams. Right side Harden. Pocket six to win the drought. Hauled in by Brown. He's been off this whole period. Unable to sustain any kind of consistency. Outside Tatum. Horford outside. Pass to Brown. Floats one. He can't hit that time. 
And Brooklyn going the other way now. Here's Harden. The ball's knocked loose. Griffin finds Harden. Griffin a screen on Smart. Now Durant launches it. He's now 8 for 11 after that made shot. Yeah, he's in his bag from beyond the arc right now. You see his confidence. And I think the defender knows once he gets cooking, look out. The bucket looks awfully big to him right now. And here's Brown for three. Doesn't go that time. Brooklyn has gone two of six from downtown here in the second half. Harden's shot is good. Now it's a five-point Nets lead. I love it. When Harden shoots, he commits. A little contact isn't going to upset his mechanics. Smart against Harden. Williams passes to Tatum. The kick out to Williams. Smart against Harden. Six to shoot. Here's Horford. Brooklyn with the board. Right side Mills. And Robert Williams picks up the foul. That's his third foul so far. Williams has checked in for Boston. So the Nets making a switch here. Outside Harden. Over to the left wing. Here's Thomas, defended by Brown. Thomas misses. The Celtics have gotten just three of eight shots to go in the third quarter. Tatum finds Smart. Spins. Back to Tatum. Clock at six. Who poked away. And the ball out of bounds. The Celtics will have it. So it's Boston now, trailing by five. They'll take on the Spurs at AT&T Center after this one. That'll be the first leg of just a two-game trip for them. Brown passes to Williams. Smart for three. Second chance shot. Williams misses. Well, defensively, if you allow him to get this close, you're playing with fire. He just happened to miss that one. Durant, the pass to Harden. And the call will be against Jason Tatum. That's his third foul of the game. And the Celtics making a change here. Schroeder's checked in. On defense, the Celtics. It's a five-point game. Here's Thomas. Hits the three-pointer. Thomas has gotten his third basket of the night. You have to have the vision to find the open man. Beautiful pass. Duran against Schroeder. Williams on the wing. Now here's Schroeder. He's covered closely. Just five to shoot. And Williams punches it home. Well, coaches love seeing this from Dennis Schroeder. Recognize the situation, find the open teammate. Brooklyn has gone three of seven from deep so far in the third quarter. Harden against Schroeder. Outside Harden. Pass to Thomas. Poke loose. It's stolen by Smart. Now here's Schroeder. Stolen by Millsap. He's got a clear path. Durant draws the double. Here's Harden. And no good. Some solid defense from Williams. Just hasn't found much consistency from the floor. But his teammates have picked up the slack. Schroeder passes to Brown. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And now a look at the upcoming schedule for the Boston Celtics. On Friday, they'll begin a road trip starting in San Antonio, going up against the Spurs. And then on Sunday, they're off to Toronto to face off with the Raptors.
What a great opportunity for this team to take a step forward. They have some tough road games coming up, and that kind of stretch can bring a team together. Winning some of these games would be huge for their overall confidence. And he drops the first. Aldridge is checked in for Brooklyn. So he gets them both. And the Nets with possession here. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Pass to Harden. Here's Thomas, defended by Smart. Five on the clock. From the top of the key, Thomas misses. Well, defenses are content to give up the mid-range, right? It's not the high percentage restricted area or the three. You can see they're prepared to give up that shot. Now here's Brown. 13 points in the game. Back to Schroeder. Pass to Brown. The three is up. Rebounded by Johnson. Johnson's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Thomas. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Smart. To the paint. And there's a three-second violation. The Nets with the lead. Harden, the pass to Durant. Johnson a screen on Brown. Duran on the attack. Shoots over Brown. Durant, no good. Boston's gotten only one three-pointer to fall here in the third. Five attempts. Pass to Schroeder. Williams a screen on Harden. Shot clock at six. Schroeder passes to Williams. And it's off from three-point range. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. On the wing, Harden. Williams defending. A shot to stop the drought! Harden can't hit. He just keeps firing from distance. I know he's trying to heat up, but at what cost? And <laughs> once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes his two points, moves on. And Brooklyn's shooting a low 29% since halftime. Pass to Johnson. Here's Thomas, defended by Brown. Thomas misses. Austin trailing. Schroeder passes to Williams. Outside, Williams. Schroeder with it. For the lead! Nails it from three. Schroeder's got seven. Well, this is why spacing is so important. When you can knock down distance shots, as Dennis Schroeder does there, it changes the equation. Kick out to Brown. That one falls. Coming off Schroeder's feed. Now it's a four-point Celtic lead. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Celtics. Defensively, they've played with a high energy level tonight. And all the steals we've seen, a result of that aggressiveness. Yeah, and I think something they've also worked hard at tonight is crashing the boards. The second chance points have been coming in bunches. You love that this guy doesn't get down on himself after a rough first half. Keep your composure and keep grinding. He launched that one from way outside. Brown's got 19. When you let a team knock down that many threes, you know you're likely to be on the wrong side of a run. Back to Harden. There's a screen by Aldridge. Knocked away. Stolen by Schroeder. And here we go. The Celtics on the run. Smart passes to Brown. Outside Schroeder. Oh, stolen by Harden. Pass to Johnson. Over Williams. 
And that one hits the back iron. It's been all about Jalen Brown for the Boston Celtics. And that quarter was all about him. Leading the comeback charge. Now they're up in this one. We'll be right back. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? You love the unselfish play. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far. But this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. Smart and Brown, a great defensive backcourt. Then there's Jason Tatum. Then there's Al Horford. And it's Williams in at the power forward position. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. Well, this guy is a consistent shot blocking threat. Al Horford twice on the pipes. Pass to Williams. It's tipped. Here's Bembry, hounded by Tatum. And stolen by Williams. Brown passes to Horford. Back to Brown. Williams a screen on Harden. Second shot opportunity. Kick out to Brown. No good from outside. Brooklyn trailing. Pass to Thomas. A few possessions into the fourth. Just over a minute play. Harden the pass to Millsap. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Thomas. Boston with a rebound. Tatum's got seven rebounds in the game. And here's Brown. Gets the three to fall. Brown's got 11 points here in the second half. Yeah, this is the very definition of feeling it. Jalen Brown taking smart shots and playing perfectly within the team's schemes. Mills, he's checked in for Thomas. Just over a minute and a half played here in the fourth. Knocks it loose. Brown with the steal. For Boston, they've gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. Tatum passes to Brown. Williams a screen on Aldridge. Here's Brown. Great D that time from Aldridge. And Williams over to help. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Nets will retain possession. Timeout called. Brooklyn. Wow, it's been quite a game for Jalen Brown. Well, I think this is a necessary timeout so they can figure out a way to limit the impact this guy's having from three-point range. They've got to dedicate more resources to their perimeter D. So the Nets making a switch here. Griffin's checked in. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. 
I was able to listen in on what Steve Nash was going over with his team. He encouraged them to get out in transition. He said, quote, that team can be tough to score on when they set up in the half court. Let's push the ball at every opportunity. Back to you. Thank you for that, Allie. Here's Harden. The ball's knocked loose. And so the ball out of bounds. Smart touched it last. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? Oh, now that was a block. Some much needed energy there to jumpstart them back into this game. Harden against Smart. And out of bounds. Boston will have it. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. Inside. And Tatum with the basket on the assist from Williams. And it's a nine-point Boston lead. Jason Tatum committed to adding strength and adding weight. And now the ability to finish through contact so evident. Harden from outside. Rebound Boston. Horford's got four rebounds now. Their strong work ethic has been evident on the glass. Really getting after it and being physical. Smart finds Tatum. Just five on the clock. Here's Brown. And he drives in. And the jam by Brown. We've got to get this guy in the dunk contest. Jalen Brown taking flight with that insane athleticism. Just an awesome display of athleticism on our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. And Marcus Smart picks up the foul. That'll get him his fourth foul of the game. Boy, plenty of time left in the clock. He needs to keep his poise. That's his fourth foul now. Kevin Durant, he's checked in for Brooklyn. Boston on D. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong. No baskets allowed. And the call will be against Jason Tatum. That'll get him his fourth foul of the game. Here's Griffin. On the wing, Durant. Shot clock at five. Pass to Bembry. To the inside. Harden. And it's good. Two points. Harden's got ten points in just the second half. You know, put a rough first half behind him. He's absolutely crushing it here in the second. And Blake Griffin is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. To the right side. Back to Smart. Six on the shot clock. Driving to the basket. Horford for three. And the Celtics another three. Al Horford's shot is just so pretty. Doesn't get a ton of lift, but boy, is he accurate. The Nets have gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. Pass to Griffin. Puts up a three. Yes, and a nice assist from Harden. Harden's got three assists now in this one. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. And it's Kevin Durant with the foul. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Brooklyn on D. Tatum passes to Williams. Now Brown. Five to shoot. Over Mills. Again, Boston. Brown showing off that delicate touch, becoming much more reliable with his jumper the longer he plays in the NBA. Griffin outside. Off target with the three. That's not his spot, but given the lack of defense, you'd like to see him knock that one down. 
Their offense has been unstoppable, just firing on all cylinders. And at this point, it is their game to lose. They've done such a good job building the lead. And the Nets with possession here, following the bucket by the Celtics. Pass to Durant. Back to Harden. Beyond the arc. Drills it from deep. Harden's got five points in the quarter. And that's just precision personified from Harden beyond the arc. I mean, he looks so comfortable shooting from out there. Boston has gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Williams with the screen. Tatum with it. Picked up by Griffin. Williams with it. Down low. Kicks it out to Smart. Tatum from long range. And the Celtics another three. Well, Jason Tatum with the answer from three. That's how you stop an opponent's momentum. The Nets have gotten three of seven attempts in this fourth quarter to fall. Here's Mills driving inside. And that one drops for him. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. Outside, Brown. Screen by Horford. Left side, Williams. And the Celtics, another three. I think Brown demonstrating he's got a great understanding of the game. He keeps his head moving, his eyes open, so he can spot the open man. Now here's Harden. With the floater, Williams grabs the board. Williams has got four rebounds in the game. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Williams has checked in for Williams. Boston has gone four or five from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Outside, Williams. Pass to Tatum. And again, Boston with the triple. There was some question coming out of college. Could Jason Tatum hit the three consistently? He has put that to rest. Smart against Harden. Here's Bembry. Oh, got a piece of it. And there's the call on Al Horford. That's foul number two for him. Schroeder, he's checked in for Boston. Outside Harden. Fires for three. And the three-pointer goes. Harden's got 16 points here in the second half. It's so effective and efficient on the offensive end. I mean, when Harden is not setting up the play, he's finishing. Now here's Schroeder. Pass to Tatum. Williams, a screen on Durant. Here's Tatum. Oh, Tatum slams it home. Here in the second half, they've just found better shots. And I think what's happening is they're getting their shots within the flow of their offense, and you can clearly see the difference. Brown passes to Schroeder. Outside, Brown. <laughs> Outside, Brown. Inside, out to Horford from behind the arc. Yeah, he's not having the same success from the field that he saw in the first half. There's a screen to the paint. Outside Durant. And the call will be against Jason Tatum. That'll be foul number five on him. And that's going to be his fifth, guys. One more and he's done. Harden against Schroeder. Outside Mills. Shot clock at six. Pass to Harden from deep. On the defensive end, much more energy and effort since halftime. They're making their opponents work for every look. Great job by this coaching staff. Schroeder finds Williams. Tatum with it. Guarded by Durant. Tatum passes to Brown. Shoots over Mills. That one's wide left. Brooklyn has gone three of seven from the perimeter during the fourth. They double him with Brown. Three-pointer, Harden. 
sends it home from three-point land. Harden's got 11 points in the quarter. Well, I'm telling you, this guy is doing everything he can to get them where they want to be. He's been on a mission in this period. Fantastic ball movement for them tonight. As things are definitely working offensively, a balanced attack is just so much harder to defend. He's done a dynamite job rebounding the basketball and no issues fighting it out against the big guys down low. Pass to Durant. Stolen by Schroeder. And here we go. The Celtics on the run. Man, that one's good. Brown's got 30 points. Well, you love that they've been able to rely on him time and time again. You love the effort here late. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Jalen Brown. Yeah, and this game really has his fingerprints all over it. He's been dominating and making it look effortless. It's always fun to watch someone just flat out take over like he's done here today. Hey, these fans love him so much. And when he gets it going, they respond. The crowd's energy fueled his performance. For Brooklyn, they've gotten six of their 13 shots to go. Outside Durant. Jacks up a three. That one doesn't drop. And Boston going the other way now. With the step back, Schroeder finds Brown. Back to Schroeder. Now here's Horford. Pass to Brown. Outside Schroeder. Shot clock at five. And there's Warford on the assist from Schroeder. Schroeder's got four assists now tonight. Brooklyn has gone four of nine from three-point range in the fourth. And here's Durant, pounded by Tatum. Durant, the pass to Harden. Back to Durant. Six to shoot. Durant draws the double. And here's Griffin outside. Rebound Boston. Tatum's got rebound number eight now. Durant against Schroeder. Outside, Brown. All right, here's a different question for you, partner. I'll be taking notes. Did you have a favorite city for food in the NBA? Well, write this down, B.A. So, my mom is from New Orleans. So, I know New Orleans very well. 
And so New Orleans was my favorite city, no question. The food there, oh, I'm getting full just thinking about it. <laughs> now here's Griffin. Three-pointer. That one is off. And the distance between the point totals for these teams tells the whole story. Just a fantastic effort, and you have to give it up for the Celtics. Boy, this was one physical game, guys. <laughs> they obviously felt that was an advantage of theirs coming in, and they were able to be relentless inside as a result. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. Yeah, this is far from the last word in the season series. Still three more meetings between them and plenty of motivation to square things up. And we get spoiled sometimes, but we should take a second to appreciate what a sensational performance this has been for Jalen Brown. We saw him get a lot of touches tonight, and he wasted very few of them. Really made himself the backbone of their offense. Tatum with it. Picked up by Griffin. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Brown draws the double. Outside Schroeder. That falls. Nice feed that time from Tatum. Showing us that killer instinct right now. No letting the foot off the gas for them. And you want to save your best for last. Tonight they've done that and then some. So we see the Celtics taking the W here. They didn't have too many problems tonight. They didn't. Just a tremendous team effort. Once they had that big lead, they were not going to let the visitors back into the game. All right, let's send it down to Allie LaForce, who's with our player of the game. Thank you. I'm here with Jason Tatum. And Jason, congratulations on the win. What did you like about this team's performance tonight? Uh, our toughness. Um, and, you know, we're figuring it out. It's early. But uh, we're taking it game by game, quarter by quarter. And uh, everybody, everybody contributing. So, uh, you know, I like it. Thanks, Jason. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. That concludes the first game of the NBA season. For Ali LaForce, Doris Burke, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson alongside our 2K Sports crew thanking you for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.